So hi everyone. So due to the fact that Jinx doesn't work, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do gradient and, and glows with just using my iPhone. So I pull up my work from my previous assignment, and what we are gonna do is just create a solid um, layer. So what you can do is just layer, new, solid. And this window is gonna come up. You can let me hover you want. Make sure it's a make comp size and click OK. I already did it and it's here. I'm gonna make it visible. So this is what you are gonna get. So let's apply grading here. What grading option is gonna do is just give you a cohesive look. So it just blends pretty much all the layers, which you like, it gets you that cohesive look. So we're gonna go to effect. We are going to go to generate and then generate you can create gradient ramp. Um, this is a shortcut for uh, the gradient ramp. It's Control alt shift e on your Windows computer. So let's go again. Gradient ramp right here. So by default you are going to get black at the top, white at the bottom, and in between in the middle. That's pretty much where this noise is. So to like reset that, or I'm sorry, to edit that will be just click on this target and you can move it like this. So the middle is just going to move the black part and the bottom is going to move the white part. And you can make it like vertical, you can make it in angles, you can make it shorter, you can make it longer. So can you see like the grayish part? how it changes and probably on my iPhone you can see it through like kind of noise there so you can control that using this too so you see how the black part moves when you click on the start of ramp or move the white part here so just let's leave it like that okay so what we are gonna do is just once we did that we are gonna make sure this option is here and where you can see normal let's say i want to use multiply and see how it merges with my image so let's say i don't want her her part of her face i want her to be hidden so this is what the gradient solution is gonna do you can use another option for example linear dodge you can use darken yeah but for now i'm, I'm sorry oh Okay, for now, I'm just going to use multiply. Okay, so after that, you you can pick the color too if you want to. Let's say a red, and you see how it changes here in red. Okay, so it's pretty much like Photoshop or any Adobe that we have learned before. So the next thing I'm going to show you is just how to create a glow. So what I'm going to do is just go to the title. I'm just going to make it, oops, let's do escape for that. Let's click here. I'm just going to make it bigger and better. I know if better, but let's do it like that. And for now, I'm just going to change this color. Actually, I don't need this. So cancel this. Make sure it's like 0.5. So you can see it here. So what I'm going to do is just go to effects size and then glow so it's pretty much the same thing like what you learn in photoshop what you learn in illustrator so see how it changes here you can work with the glow trust hole here you can do it from top on top behind or not you can create an alpha channel color channels oops let's go back to this i'm sorry and let's just move it like around unfortunately let's do it red and let's do it let's make sure it's red both and, and yep just pretty much play with the options here i don't know if you can tell probably if we make this a different color you can tell okay and let's make a little bit this bigger I'm just gonna do one point okay so let's see if you can see the glow here how it changes 
So yeah, that's pretty much Bloat. And you can do it in any effect. It's just like what 